Hello and welcome to AntiqueToys.com. My name is Ed Sanford. I'm a toy guru. Uh, I'm not an official appraiser, but I know enough to be dangerous and I'd like to help share the concept of what antique versus vintage versus modern toys are. So stay tuned. Thank you. All right, without further ado, can you go ahead and pick out what's vintage, what's antique, what's new? Or does it all look the same? And I'm going to guess it probably looks about the same. The official answer on antique toys is it's 100 years old. So this Marklin steam engine is officially 100. It probably was produced circa 1920. Um, it's over 100 years. So this qualifies. This tin toy, which is like, well, super primitive and may or may not work ends up being around uh 120 years this is the way things started it was a piece of tin stamped painted by hand and um extremely crude they like to use pieces like this which is a i'll give you a close-up later but it's a clown made of lead and you can think of it as like a hot wheels toy so Oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Or not. Um, so this is a true antique. This Marklin's a true antique. The William Tell Bank is a true antique. And the boy has an apple on his head, and William Tell was such a great shooter that he could shoot the penny. Or if I had a penny on, the penny would go into the bank. Shoot that off of his head. So, again, true antique. This soldier, this soldier. This soldier is right on the bubble, uh, 1929 remotely uh, to commemorate World War I, but I'm going to say it's more of a dime store from probably 1930, 35. So this guy on the bubble, he's a vintage toy, soon to be antique, and if you want to keep things loose, it's, it's about an antique toy. Our wind-up toy here, that's on the bubble. In another decade uh, so at this point this is just pure vintage probably 1960 um, when you look at the back it's Yonazawa so vintage definitely vintage Stife definitely vintage uh, each of these 60s 70s so let's look at the robots vintage 1960 maybe right in 1970 Battery up, walker, uh, batteries come on, eyes, vintage. So we have vintage, vintage. Transmissions detected. And now you get into kind of a murky area of the 80s. Uh, we're going to call it vintage, but to an older person, this may be considered modern. Here's the big, bad, modern Pokemon card. This is the latest in modern. And I would say card, toys, or gaming is the current trend. Okay, here's the 120-year-old Marklin steam engine. There's the Marklin symbol. And here's a burner. So, true antique. Loop the loop toy with a Hot Wheel style figure out of lead and a clown driver. Antique, good old Barkley machine gunner, lead toy, steel, hat with nickel plating, vintage but on the bubble of being an antique in the near future. William Tell Bank, often marketed by Stevens. We're looking at an easy 100 if not 120 years of age. Japanese Cast television iron. robot, metal antenna version, putting it older. Circa 60. Vintage. Sound wave from the Transformers Toys series. Jolly Penguin vintage toy. Stipe Lion toy with the button in the ear. Pokemon. At this moment, still current. So modern. 
soon to be vintage and around 100 years in. So there you have it. We've got vintage, we've got antique, we've got modern toys, but you know what? It just doesn't matter. Uh, enjoy what you like, collect what you like, um, and you can always shoot me an email at toysandantiquetoys.com for clarification, but it um, should help you a little bit from an esoteric standpoint. Antique is truly 100 years. Uh, cheers from Ed, and please keep us in mind for collections. We buy collections. Uh, we try to readopt things out. And so just drop me a line, toys at antiquetoys.com. Send me some photos and take care. Have a great day.